Hey everyone, Scott here from the Fragrance Channel. Scott Aromatical, welcome. I hope everybody's doing okay. Thank you so much for being here. It really means the world to me that you take time out of your busy schedule to join me today. Well, as always, we're here to discuss fragrances and today I'm gonna to be doing another top 10. That's right, I'm gonna be doing the top 10 men's designer fragrances that I would never stop recommending. So if you're here for the first time, thank you so much. It really means the world to me, but this is the perfect video for you. If you're looking to get into the fragrance community or if you're looking to start a fragrance collection, these are 10 fragrances that I think would be perfect for you to start your fragrance collection. And if you've been doing this for a while, and let's say maybe you're just a niche connoisseur or a niche snob, here's some 10 great designer fragrances you may be sleeping on. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, so the first fragrance I wanna talk about is one of my all-time favorite fragrances that I purchased when I dove down this rabbit hole that is the fragrance community. I'm so glad I made this purchase because when I first thought of Chanel, my mind right away went to women's fashion. I never thought of Chanel as being a designer house for men, but boy, I'm so glad I dispelled those myths. And the first fragrance I'm talking about is Blue Day Chanel, of course, by Chanel. And my wife is absolutely in love with Coco Chanel. But this fragrance right here by Blue Day Chanel, to me, especially the parfum, is a masterpiece. I know, masterpiece, right? Everybody uses that word. It's been thrown around a lot, but really, to me, this is the king of blue fragrances. And basically, blue fragrances are fragrances that pretty much have the note of ambroxan. Sometimes ISO E can be substitute and almost give it a blue feeling as well. But that's pretty much what a blue fragrance is. And what I love about this fragrance, well, let's just spray it instead of talking it to death. Man, it, it's, it's an instant classic, first of all. The citruses in the top are so beautiful. It's slightly woody, but not so strong, but not so faint. That gives it a nice masculine feel. Very musky. There's some pink pepper in here as well. And it's just an absolutely gorgeous fragrance that lasts for a while on my skin. I get six to eight hours easily. And this is one of those fragrances that you can wear anytime. This can be worn all year round, anytime, any place, by anyone for any occasion. So if you're only looking to buy just one fragrance, this is the one to buy. But if you're looking to start a collection, definitely start it with this one because it's so good. And the first three fragrances I'm going to do are pretty much fragrances you can wear all year round. First three fragrances are basically going to be fragrances you can wear anytime, anywhere, all year round. And then I've divided into freshies and then wintertime fragrances. All right, next fragrance on the list is from Giorgio Armani called Aqua de Jo. And this was Aqua de Jo Profumo. I tricked you. You probably thought I was talking about the original OG, but this is my favorite. This is the one I would never stop recommending because it's got that same Aqua de Jo DNA, but they've added an inset note in here that just makes it dark and mysterious and more mature. It's definitely got a more mature vibe, but still has that aquatic DNA. And this one can be worn all year round because of the incense note. It's still fresh enough to wear in the summertime, but still a little bit, it's still dark enough to wear in the fall and winter. And then this thing goes six to eight hours on my skin easily. And for that reason, this is a fragrance I'd always recommend. All right, next on my list, believe it or not, this fragrance is kind of similar to Blue Day Chanel in some areas, but definitely goes off on its own. And this is none other than Dior Homme. I really like this. This one right here has definitely got some ISO E in it. It's got that musk and it's got some pink pepper that gives a little bit of spiciness. So, you know, it, it's kind of in that blue fragrance vein because of the ISO E, but it's definitely a gorgeous fragrance. Here, let's go ahead and spray it real quick. Oh yeah, this is such a good fragrance. If you don't have this in your collection, definitely get it. I know a lot of you like the older formulations and then we can argue all day long about concentration because there's a parfum. But I do love the EDT and I can really smell it filling the room right now. And it's just so good. That woodiness that's in this fragrance is so, so good. And basically this fragrance lasts all day on my skin. And for that reason, because of the longevity and the projection and the scent trail, this one is so good. And you're definitely going to leave a scent bubble and people are going to compliment you when you're wearing this fragrance. And this is another one of those that you can wear all year round, in my opinion. All right, next fragrance on the list. We're going to kind of go into some freshies now. We're going to be talking about this one right here. This is by Versace. What I love about the Versace house is a lot of their fragrances are pretty much on the cheap side if you know where to look. If you buy online and not retail, you're definitely going to save some money on this house and they make some really good fragrances. This is a creation by master perfumer Alberto Marias. Let's go ahead and spray it. 
Oh, yeah, the blast of lemon in this is so, so good. Again, you've got a slight woodiness coming from the cedar. There's some vanilla in the dry down coming from Tonka. It's musky, and it does have this nice aquatic feel. Some hint of spiciness as well, but man, it's so good. And every time I wear this in the summertime, it just does something magical with the high heat here in South Carolina. And it sparkles and shines and really goes six to eight hours on my skin. And wherever I wear this, people are really st are stopping in their tracks to tell me I smell good. So if you like compliments, if you like a fresh aquatic fragrance that's just refreshing and energizing, go with this classic right here by Versace called Plurome. All right, next on my list is another one from Chanel for good reason. Chanel just makes high quality fragrances. And this one right here, you can wear it in the summertime. And in fact, a lot of people get it out in the summertime because of the notes. But really, you could probably wear this one all year round too. And this one is from Chanel. This is called Allure Om Sport Au Extreme. Wow. So what can I say about this fragrance? It's so good. There's a lot of citrus on the top. There's a orange notes in there. And I'm pick, I pick up a lot of creamy, lemony notes in here as well. And then it just kind of goes in a nice woody direction. Man, this one is so fresh and so clean. To me, this fragrance right here is perfect for the pool, perfect for the gym, perfect for the wedding, perfect for the office. It's so good. It's so fresh. And there's just a creamy, lemony, vanilla-like scent in this that is so good. Don't take my word for it. Definitely test it out and give it a try. It's so, so good this time of year. Next on the list is by Versace again. Again, I like the price of this fragrance. It's not all that expensive. I think you can find these for under 60 bucks if you know where to look. This one is Versace Eros, and there's a Parfum, there's an Eau de Parfum, and an EDT. This is the EDT, and I like this one. To me, it's strong enough. I will say the Parfum is very smooth, and I'm looking to pick up a bottle of that one. Let's go ahead and spray this real quick. Oh, the mint right off the top. There's something so addicting and pleasant and calming about the mint mixed with the apple and the lemon. And then you've got a nice vanilla coming from Tonka and the vanilla note that's in this. And this is another one of those fragrances that have Ambroxan. And anything with Ambroxan on Scott Aromatico skin goes all day. I get about eight hours easily. And this is just so unique. When I say unique, it's just not like a lot of other fragrances out there. But it's so good and it's been around for a while. So a lot of people do have this in their collection, but that's okay. It's just a good fragrance and you're gonna smell better than other people say who aren't in the fragrance community and don't know about this one. People are really gonna wanna know what you're wearing and you're gonna turn some heads. And on the dry down, there's just a nice woody vibe you get from this one, but it's so good with that apple and mint, mint opening. Definitely test this one out. Next, speaking of Alberto Marias, Again, the master perfumer behind this bad boy right here. And he's really good. He's cornered the market on freshies. Here's another one of his creations that's absolutely amazing. This one is called Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. Now, you've probably heard of the original gangster, the regular Dolce & Gabbana, and that's more of a yellow juice. This one is the better of the two. Man, is this one so good. Let's spray it. One of my favorite notes and fragrances is grapefruit. It just has this gorgeous beautiful sweetness to it in the opening and a lot of the grapefruit that you smell in fragrances is not like the grapefruit you smell on a fruit it's not photorealistic it's more of a sweet citrusy vibe you got going on and it's just a beautiful scent profile let's spray it oh yeah man this one is so good a grapefruit opening that is just so beautiful. It's musky, it's aquatic, and there's some light spices in this as well. And it's so gorgeous. And every time I wear this, it's a compliment machine. So that's why I'll never stop recommending it. And this one goes six to eight hours on my skin. And the scent bubble and scent trail of this fragrance is phenomenal. It goes beast mode on me. And so that's why I'll never stop recommending. And you see the dent I put in this fragrance. So it's so good. The last three we've got kind of move us more into the fall and winter category. Oh, one of the fragrance houses I'll never stop recommending, and of course the fragrance line, is this one right here. This is Loam EDL by Guerlain. Wow, is this one so good, guys. This is perfect for the fall and winter. It's very gourmandish in nature. It's got an almond note in here that is so addicting. There's a cherry note in here that's absolutely amazing too. And when you think of cherry, you may think of women's fragrances, but you would be wrong. The cherry and the almond and the woody notes in here are so gorgeous. This is perfect for the date night and your girl's really gonna notice you when you wear this fragrance. Trust me guys, get this fragrance if you want compliments and you want your girl to snuggle up or whatever the case may be, your significant other 
whatever the case may be, they're really going to take notice of you wearing this fragrance. All right, next on the list is from Victor and Rolf. This is the funny looking perfume bottle that looks like a hand grenade. This one is called Spice Bomb. Of course, you pull the pin and then you've got magic. This is so good. This is one of the most beautiful vanilla scents. There's a tobacco note in here that's easy to wear. And then you've got lavender and some spicy pepper in here. It's so good. But the vanilla mixed with the lavender and the tobacco and the spiciness, man, this fragrance really performs in the wintertime. And for that reason, I'd never stop recommending this fragrance. All right, last on the list, guys, is none other than Dolce & Gabbana's The One. To me, this has just always been one of my favorites. It's so good. There's a cardamom note in here that is beautiful, mixed with that amber, giving that warming vanilla touch. There's some tobacco nuances in here, and of course a nice woody vibe in the dry down. And for that reason, I would never stop recommending this fragrance. It's light on performance. I get about four to six hours on my skin, but it is the quintessential date night fragrance where it's perfect at night and works perfect in the fall and winter. And I just love this one so much. You might wanna go with a a more potent um, option, which is the Intense. That one lasts a little bit longer. Give that one a try if, you're, if you have bad performance issues with the EDT. But I really love this fragrance and I'd never stop recommending it. All right, some honorable mentions real quick. We could talk about Terre de Hermes. This one is so good because it's got that kind of green, almost sour citrusy vibe in the top that really works well in the summertime. So definitely don't sleep on Terre de Hermes. This one is a beautiful fragrance and I don't wear it that much because I just forget about it. And then, of course, we're going to go with the reason why this one didn't make my lineup is because everybody's got it. And I know a lot of you are looking to smell unique, but I still love this fragrance. It still gets me results. This is Sauvage by Dior. You know this one. If you don't, you've been hiding under a rock. This is the one that Johnny Depp promotes, and it's so good. One of my favorites. If you're looking for something with a beautiful pineapple note that helps you smell like a million-dollar fragrance, which is called Creed Aventus, look no further than this one right here. This one is called Explorer by Mont Blanc, and this one's got a beautiful pineapple birch note. You've got to give it a try. And then last but not least in my honorable mentions is why this is the Parfum by Yves Saint Laurent, and this one is so good too, and it's also considered a blue fragrance. So those are my honorable mentions. Those are fragrances I'd never stop recommending. What about you guys? What are some fragrances you'd never stop recommending? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. What are some of your favorites? Did you like any from, these, uh, from this list? Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, if you love the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, I'd love to have you part of my fragrance family. Join me on my journey. Let's learn together. Let's grow together. Let's talk fragrances because it's all about you guys. So all you got to do is hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit the bell notifications off to the side. That really helps me, and it helps the video get into your feed quicker so you know what's going on and you don't miss any fragrance content on all the latest fragrances, latest top tens and giveaways and all that good stuff as well. So thank you guys so much for being here. I hope wherever you are, you're finding peace and happiness. And just know I love each and every one of you guys. Peace, love, ciao. So good. Like I said, grapefruit twat. Great. Clap. The first got some, what am I looking for here? <laughs>